Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we're looking at a wonderful tree library known as Botanic Tree and Plant. And this is made available by the guys at Polygonic and I've actually just gone ahead to purchase the full version. And the reason why I'm purchasing this right now is they do have a 33% off which is actually slashing the price by a very good number. And if you do purchase the full version, you're definitely going to have 100% of all of the assets and future updates would come to you for free. Of course, you can also go ahead and purchase the light version, which will give you 33% of the assets and also a future update. And this comes with a lot of things. I did get the 100% version and believe me, there is a huge, huge ton of things right here. Botanic are the same guys that created the amazing tool, which I, we already talked about before, known as Traffic. And I've actually found satisfaction while working with your tools. So one of the cool things here is the trees that you're going to get are extremely, extremely useful. The very first one is you find trees that are working based on season and it comes with a couple of assets. And to each of the trees that you're getting, you actually have over three variations of different kinds of trees. So depending on what time of the year you want your stuff to be like, you can either choose to play with the deciduous trees or the coniferous trees, depending on what you want. And these are a whole lot. So depending on what you want, I think this is more like a full package of the kind of trees or whatever kind of tree you want to work with and to each of this stuff that you're going to be working with you'll be able to have textures ranging from 2k 1k and also half and these are a whole lot and without further ado let's dive directly into blender and take a look at this and see exactly what we have so we blender open right here for you to actually get this up and running you need to go ahead and download this link is going to be in the description where you can purchase this and get it and from there all you need to do is go over to edit go over to preference go over to the section where you have us add-on click on install click on the file and install this and once you do that all you need to do is just simply press n on the keyboard and you will find this right here called polygonic so i already got the tool from them previously which is known as traffic and it was really really you know useful for me over a long period of time since i got it and this other one is also going to be extremely useful for most of the personal projects i'm working on so let's get right into this so i'm just going to delete the cube right here if you click over here you can spawn different things so the beautiful thing here is if you're working on a spring scene you can choose what kind of trees you want so you can notice the minute i start clicking on this i'll be able to only see winter trees if i go over to autumn and click on this i'll only be able to see autumn trees and if i also go over to summer click on this i'll also be able to see summer trees another cool thing here is you have a huge set of tree library that you can have access to so if you want to get simple pots so in case you want to work with stuff let's simply turn on all of this you can get all of the pots that you want so depending on the flower pots you want to use you can have them here if you're looking for tropical trees of course you can find a huge set of tropical trees from here and you can just simply click and click right here to get them in you can make this editable or not so if you click over here and make them not editable you can simply just throw them directly in your scene and the only thing which you'll be able to do is to scale this so if we press s on the keyboard we'll be able to scale this but we would not be able to manipulate or play with the textures another beautiful thing that you would be able to do with this is if we simply go over here and click from here we can also choose to bring in some more trees so let's simply go over to uh, here and let's get some pretty cool trees and you would actually notice that once you're working with this directly on your viewport the textures are not there and this is to save you memory i have actually not really seen so many tools that get to do something like this you enjoy these things more once you fire up the render and you can actually tell and you can see all of the beautiful textures that has been loaded up right here if we go over to the palm which we just simply looked at right now you can also tell that we have this beautiful tree which you can use for so many so many things another cool thing which you will also find out here is if you simply select on one of these you can click on convert to editable and once you click on convert to editable you will notice that once you go over so i'm simply going to select this once you go over to your shader editor you would notice that there is a very organized looking shader that you can tweak things so you're having all of the controls that you want so if you want to tweak these things you want to get some cool stuff happening from here 
you will be able to get this now enough of all of these things that we've talked let's see some other cool features that this also comes with so another cool feature that this also comes with is snapping so i would simply go over right here and throw in a very simple grid press s on the keyboard just to scale this all the way up let's go right here and i'm going to press the tab key i would also right click and subdivide this about maybe you know that amount of time press s on the keyboard to get this all the way up then the next thing which i'm going to do is press the tab key jump over to where we have the sculpting and from here i'm just simply going to sculpt now the reason why i'm sculpting this is because we're trying to mimic some sort of landscape all right so we can actually get this one going i'm just going to go ahead and do that so let's simply roll this all the way up and with this done we have a wonderful looking landscape that we can play with so i'm just going to jump right back here and throw in a couple of trees now one more feature which i didn't show you guys yet is if you go through and drag a tree so i'm just simply going to bring in this tree right here you can make several copies and have different variation of the same tree so what i mean by this is simple if i simply move this all the way to the top and hit shift and d shift and d shift and d you notice they are all looking alike but if i simply select one of them and click on random transform you could notice it makes a variation i'm also going to do the same thing right here random transform and the same thing right here random transform and i can also go back here and select some deciduous trees and also bring in a maple so i'm just going to drag in that maple right here let's also scale this down just a little bit like that move this over to this point shift and d this and also shift and d something about this point now with all of these beautiful things done let's also make some random and also make some random stuff now if you're working on a scene and you actually place all these things in different points or at different points what you might want to do is to make sure that they are actually touching the main surface so there is a beta testing tool that they have here which seems to work pretty pretty fine so if you simply click on snap to ground it is going to snap that part to ground now if i simply select all of these other ones and click on snap to ground it is going to snap all of the trees to ground so you don't necessarily need to you know second guess if your object is actually touching the surface of what you're working on as you would obviously get this snapping exactly where you want them to be so other cool features that we have here is the sock length so i found this one very useful too the sock length trees they look pretty nice so depending on what you're looking for and you would also notice that there's a human scale to these things so this is extremely useful so depending on what you're working on if you're working for animation this is going to come in extremely handy as you can tell how to scale your character and you can actually know what the object scale should look like when you're placing this in your scene another cool feature right here is also the shrubs so the shrubs is also very interesting to see as you can simply just get maybe let's simply make this uh, a editable all right so let's simply make that a editable i'm just going to click right here and click on ok now by simply clicking on ok you notice we also have this tool here so if i click on this tool i can still make changes to what i want so i can go over here and select something like that and you can notice we have that and i can actually make all of the changes i want let's get this willow i kind of like the willow okay this looks good and if i'm done with this i'm just simply going to select that position this wherever i want it to be and let's scale this down and i'm going to simply hold down shift and d and move this one right here select these ones and also hit random transform and also get another random transformation of what these tools or what these models should look like so very interesting looking stuff and at the end of the day just simply grab all of them okay and hit on snap to ground so once you do this it's going to snap all of this to ground and by default if you already have a tool which you can use to make a building this is going to be very useful as you can simply start getting this and because we have a building tool right here we're also going to simply use that to make a simple building and on the other hand if you already have a tool as well from them which is the traffic tool which you can actually use to have a whole lot of cars and also get some traffic looking props you can obviously use this and beautify your scene and in less than no time you can have amazing looking landscapes and amazing looking scene so it doesn't matter what you're trying to make if you're trying to make a tropical scene if you're trying to make you know uh some desert scene you're trying to make some very cool flourishing scene of grasses 
or maybe you're just trying to make some very nice looking natural places this tool will definitely come in handy so if you want to get this there's going to be a link in the description where you can get this and right now they are actually giving out the 30 percent off and this is going to be valid from now till the 14th of july and i did get this few hours ago and it's been very useful and i just felt it would be very nice to share with you guys so that you guys can also see what this actually works with and you can see from here that the rating is extremely cool and of course a huge shout out to the guys from polygonic for making this one available and for making all of the tools that they have right here available if you want to see more tools from them you can simply go over to their page or you can simply go over to the link in the description where you can see the traffic car tool which we already talked about you can also see the botanic the material and also the material tool that they have right here and of course if you want to use this tool link is going to be in the description and that's about it i'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace